Another whiskey, sir? Yes, give me another double. Yes. Uh, give me my card, dear. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm away. What can I do? Oh, I should come in. Yes. Yes, I'm coming in. Yes? Speak out, please. What a lovely night. Dandy! Shut that window, confound you! In 30 seconds, the place will be like a nice house. Ooh. 11 o'clock, and all's well. Rest in peace. Good people all. Oh, Roger, sir. Sir? Listen. If anybody asks you anything, if you hear any talk, you know what I mean, be careful. I don't want my passengers needlessly worried. Understand? Yes, sir. All right. enough to buy myself a drink, eh? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Excuse me, then. Hush, the lovebirds. Good evening, Mr. Rowe. Good evening, Mr. Rowe. Good evening, Mr. Rowe. Good evening, Mr. Rowe. Good evening. Good evening, Mother. Good evening. Oh, Mr. Rowe. Uh, Monica and I wondered if you and Mrs. Rowe would join us at a party in the restaurant tomorrow night. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, but the Padre is coming. Certainly. And Major Boldy. I shall be there for the chicken. And Dandy. Present. And all the Tate Hughes's. Aren't they, Mr. Tate Hughes? Of course they are. In fact, all who made up our particular little circle on this ship. It's going to be a ship's that part in the night supper. We are the ships that part in the night. Only a signal shows. Then darkness again. Then silence. <laughs> and all that wrong. <laughs> yes, yes. It's, it's a beautiful idea. Beautiful. Charming. Quite charming. But, uh... Please leave me out of it. Oh, oh. I'm a creature of habits. I like my usual dinner. I get quite irritable when I'm moved about. Oh, but it will be. If you want to know, it just happens that it will be the anniversary of our marriage. The anniversary? <laughs> well, not exactly the anniversary, but it will be four months since the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> so you must come. You know, it's awfully difficult to believe that you're the 
Mr. Rule. I've heard such a lot about you, but I never expected that I should ever meet you and be asking you to supper. You know, they wouldn't let us read your books at school. Oh, wouldn't they? Why? Because they said you were dangerous. Oh, and have you read them since? No, but I shall now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you shall now. <laughs> now that I know what they're about. And what are they about? You make fun of everything everybody else thinks beautiful. Isn't that right? Maybe. That reminds me of little Mary. You know little Mary, no? No, Mary Dugan. Oh, quite right. That's right. You know little Mary, don't you? Of course. Well, well, she was standing there, and Dr. Smith came along. You know Dr. Smith, little fellow? No, no. You know Dr. Smith, don't you? Well, I'm going out. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good, Good night, Mrs. Rule. Night. Good night, Monica. Jim Quick, sir. Oh, you never understand anything I say, do you? Oh, hardly, sir. Well, you got slow gin, haven't you? Yes, sir. All right, give it to me quick. Right, sir. Now, see it's that? I am. See what? Only the lovely Mrs. Lily in a stealthy and unnoticed passing, followed by the stealthy and unnoticed departure of our friend, Kate Hughes. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. He means that Mr. Kate Hughes has no business to follow, seeing that he has Mrs. Kate Hughes and his daughter Betty on board. That's it, that's it. On the contrary, if there's one thing that entitles him to seek for a reasonable consolation, it's that. <laughs> oh, I think you're all being horrid. I like the Kate Hughes, especially Mr. Kate Hughes. I think he's rather a lamb. And I quite agree. He's adorable. And so uh, Please, please. Good evening. Good evening. What chair, Lancaster? Good evening, sir. What about the little fuck? Well, oh, thanks very much. I should like one. It's terribly cold outside, but against orders. I say, what about that rumor I heard at dinner? Rumor? What rumor? That we're in the neighborhood of icebergs? You know, I wonder who sets these rumors afloat. But is it really true? Your Dodging. I hope it is. I've never seen a cruising iceberg. Oh, you wouldn't see one tonight, even if there were any about. Why not? It's the clearest night I've ever seen, and the ocean like a mirror. Ah, that's just the reason, this flat calm. Usually, on the calmest nights in the Atlantic, there's a, a swell. And you can't see a growler unless there's a swell. A growler? What the deuce is a growler? <laughs> well, uh, uh, a growler is a large berg whose part above water is mostly melted, so that its surface is awash. That clear? How funny. In other words, you wouldn't see a growler unless there were breakers, and there are no breakers without a swell. You might see what we call ice blink, uh, ice blink is uh, 
Well, uh, birds have a, have a blue side and a white side. And the white side sways in the water now and then and throws back the light of the stars. Oh, how beautiful that must be. But aren't they all black eyes sometimes? They must be difficult to see them. We've got good eyes watching for them. So, you can sleep quite happily in your bunks. I say, I say, I've just seen a white line on the horizon. I'm certain. Oh, don't be an ass, Dandy. It's a night glow. <laughs> it's a whiskey glow, I expect. <laughs> <laughs> whiskey glow? Stuart, sir, give me a whiskey glow. <laughs> He's a funny fellow. Yeah. Whiskey glow? What's that, sir? That's the reflection of whiskey inside of a bottle. <laughs> I understand. Sir. Well, it's nothing important, whatever it is. If anything loomed ahead of interest to us, you would hear three bells from the lookout. Thank you. No, we're not sure, worried. Now we know, we know where we are. Yes. And if you waited for that, you'd probably sit up all night. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, all. Good, Good, night. Night. Good, Good night. night. But I'm not going to do that. Have you any idea of where Mr. Tate Hughes is? Have you seen him? I, uh... I, uh... <laughs> I, uh... Have, um... Temperature has dropped two degrees or more in the last few minutes. How on earth can you tell that? Sometimes we people who are confined to our chairs are as good as a barometer. Well, I didn't notice it. No. You must have a system of central heating in you by this time. What? See you later. Mm -hmm. 
Why the devil have you been such a long time, Pointer? Uh, well, sir, there was some talk in the servant's saloon uh, about these here icebergs. And I hoped that I might catch a sight of one of them, sir. And did you? No, sir. There was nothing as far as the eye could see. But um, then, uh, when I come in, sir, I was detained by Mrs. Kate Hughes and Miss Betty. It seems they were looking for Mr. Kate Hughes, sir. And they uh, asked me personally uh, to give him a message, saying that he was wanted urgently. Well, he's not here, as you can see. I know he's not, sir. But I do know where he is. Well, why not give him the message? Oh, uh, well, uh, that would be a shade awkward, sir. Awkward? Why? Because when I was walking on the deck, sir, uh, out um, behind, um, aft, I think they call it, sir, I see Mr. Tate Hughes in a secluded nook. And uh, he was not exactly alone, sir. Hmm. Had a companion, had he? I should call her more than a companion, uh, if I may say so, sir. A lady, was it? Hmm. What lady? I couldn't exactly see, sir. Has Harry been here tonight? Well, he was here, Mrs. Tate Hughes, but he left about half an hour ago. Was... was anyone with him? No. Have you any idea where he went? Oh, I... Uh, I didn't notice. Perhaps he'll come back here later. Is there anything I can do for you? There's only one man that can do anything. That's Father. Betty, hush, please. I won't hush. Father, can't you find my father? Tell him he's making my mother ill. Ill? Uh, how? You know. Everyone knows. He's a brute. Oh, he isn't that, Betty. He's not that. He is. He cares nothing for my mother's feelings. Nor for mine either. No father in the world would behave like this. I'll never speak to him again. <laughs> Mother. Thank heaven. This voyage is nearly over. <laughs> I don't know. 
do, though. It means that the lookout man in the crow's nest has sighted something in the distance. He may have rather seen a nice field on the horizon, or perhaps it's the light of another ship. Ah, well, uh, maybe I can find out. Pull ahead! Pull ahead, sir! pretty close shape. We must have grazed that berg. Did you see it? Did I see it? Quite well, as big as the rock of Gibraltar. And unless I'm very much mistaken, we've tickled its toes. I'm quite <laughs> sure we have. Hasn't injured the ship, has it? Oh, no, no, no. Good oh, Lord, no. This ship's unsinkable. <laughs> More likely, we've given that berg a twinge of the gulf. <laughs> <laughs> Emergency dynamos! And the emergency dynamos! And the emergency dynamos! And the emergency dynamos! Some people make this passage year after year without seeing even enough ice to put in a cocktail. And here are we, meeting a real bird the very first time. <laughs> Aren't we lucky? Okay. <laughs> is, there, uh, is there anything wrong? Wrong? What should be wrong? Wrong? <laughs> no, of course, nothing's wrong. <laughs> Except that my nerves have gone all to pieces. <laughs> That's all. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. What do you mean? Is there anything I can do? I don't know whether you've noticed it, 
But the engines have stopped. Huh? The engines have stopped? Yes. Yes. They have. I can't hear them. So they have. Oh, I suppose they've knocked off to have one before closing time. <laughs> <laughs> and now, gentlemen, you know the situation. All hands on deck. Every man to his station. Sound the emergency alarms. Man the lifeboats. Women and children first. Has anything happened? Oh. Uh, well, excuse me, sir, but what is the matter? My master sent me up to see. Oh, it's, it's nothing. We are near an ice field and grazed the chunk of a bird. Did we, by Joe? I should like to have a large bit of it in the drink. <laughs> Madam? 
Just a moment, please. Excuse me, sir. If you don't mind. Please. You'd better wrap up warmly, madam. Oh, oh now don't worry. Get your wife and none of these The whole thing will be settled in half an hour or so. <laughs> Precautionary measure. But my dear man, you can't tell me this is a precautionary measure. Is there for a lot of children? I assure you it is. We all are taking precautions. Oh, do come along quickly, please. But... Listen. Thank heaven. That terrible bell has stopped. After all, perhaps the captain only wants you to go on a little excursion. To the end of the pier and back? Exactly, please. Well, it, it, it's only a question of laying off the ship for a few hours, and our orders are to see how quickly it can be done. <laughs> Why, you'll all probably be safely in your warm bunks before dawn. <laughs> uh, uh, you take your wife, sir, and uh, Mrs. Tate Hughes and Miss Betty, if you'll go to your rooms and, uh, and, and wrap up warmly, I'll take you on deck. You're, you're sure it's all right? It's quite all right. Straight along around to the right, please. Come on, Dandy. This is going to be much more amusing than poker. I think so, too. Let's have a good time. Yes. Uh, you're coming too, Padre, please. Manchester. Yes, Padre. Manchester. Are you... Fooling these people? Is it really serious? You must tell me. It's nothing. I don't believe you, Lanchester. I've a right to know. Is it? Who can say? God have mercy on us.
Thanks. Leave me here. I'm only in the way on deck. At least 150 people so far have fallen over my chair. Fifteen of them have cursed me. Besides, the whole thing's too damn silly. Then you do not believe it to be really serious, sir? No, of course not. This ship is no more likely to sink than, than St. Paul's Cathedral. Of course. Although they're always mucking about with that. Sir, the mistress has a warm coat. Sir. And see if she gets our lifeboat on the right way up. Uh, which is the right way up, sir? Idiot. There are a thousand people with them on. Look and see. Certainly, sir. But uh, there seem to be a great number of people, sir, wearing them in different ways. Oh, ask the steward. Yes, sir. Uh, but um, the stewards seem to be a shade impatient and unsavory just for the moment, sir. Uh, 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 yes, sir. Yes, certainly I will venture to talk to one. Certainly, sir. Any more ladies here? Any more ladies, please? Oh, that's you, Mr. Rowe. Hello, Lanchester. <laughs> A nice crowd of officers you are, rattling the whole ship like this. You've destroyed the proud faith I had in the calm of sailors when faced by an emergency. <laughs> it was one of my very last romantic delusions. I, uh, want to know, sir, if I can get you into a boat straight away. There is enough passenger room, we believe, for all the women and children, if they are packed pretty closely. There may be room for a handful of men. Me? Why me? Well, sir, this is no time for mincing matters. You can't look after yourself like any other man on the ship. Why, well, you talk as though it were damn serious. get about, sir. I have to tell you, if the real truth were known, nothing could stop a panic. It will be bad enough as it is. Are you going, Lanchester? I haven't had the luck to be ordered to the charge of a boat yet, sir. But if I am, I shall go. If not, I shall obey orders, I suppose. What is the exact position? Have those in the boats any reasonable chance of being saved? Those in the boat will be saved to a man if they can keep out the cold. Several ships have answered our wireless. 
They should be here early in the morning. They will pick up all in the boats. And the others. Those who remain on board. They are equally certain to be lost. No! No! Steady. See it through, old man. I, I, I'm all right now. Thanks. Don't forget, Dandy, those words of Henley. I am the master of my fate. And the captain of my soul. You know it, eh? Very well. you a very special cocktail that will make your hair curl. Good heavens, the bar's closed. Not a blinking steward anywhere. Steward! Steward! <laughs> All paraded, I expect, for the skipper's jollification. Never mind. I'll fix it up. We'll just have another one and then... And then... And then... Damn it, all the doors closed. All right, I've got it. It's all right, Doc. You all right? Yes, here we are. Look up for your head. We'll just have another one. And then... And then... And then... 
we'll just have another one and then... There we are. Now then, Dandy. I'm going to mix you this very super cocktail. Now, um... Now we shall want, uh... Want a lemon. Oh, he's a nice fellow. And, uh, and some eggs. Eggs. And then it all there aren't any eggs. Well, I'm afraid we are done, Dandy. No mind. We shall have to fall back on the good old Scotch whisky, eh? I rather like that. Good. Here we are. Mm. Stay well. Good one. Huh? Oh. Ah oh, well. No, no, no. For heaven's sake, you can't have any soda. Why not? Why, you know what it means? No. It's poison to a man in your state. Oh, it, it doesn't make any difference to a man in my position. Come on, get outside that. Oh. We were drunk, drunk last night. We were drunk the night before. We're going to get drunk tonight if we never get drunk no more. We are happy as can be. We are members of the sound family. We are the members of the house. And the lips that it's glorious. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know, I know. Dandy told me. Hmm. You're one of the lucky ones. Others don't. Unpleasant, isn't it? Come on, Dandy. You can't go on looking like this. Better have another drink. No, thank you. Dandy has got it badly. I know. It's natural to be afraid. It would be cowardly to pretend that we are not. I admit, I've got it too. I'm lucky. I couldn't look right if I tried. I suppose there's nothing else to do. Wait. What was it that fellow said? Three hours, was it? Less now. Monica, darling. There's nothing to worry about. The ship's perfectly safe. I know there's something wrong. They're calling for help. That's what they're doing. They're not sending me away on a boat. And keeping you back, are they? Are they? No. Of course not, darling. Laurie. This isn't the end. Not so soon as this. Not. 
Don't be a silly. <laughs> Look at Mr. Rule. Sitting in his chair. As if he were in his library. Major Boldy having a drink. As if it were any day of the week. Monica, listen. Does that sound like a sinking ship? We're all a bit upset with this schmuck. Come and have something to warm you before you go on your little trip round the lake.
Trade Jews. Seen your women off? No, I haven't. Neither wife nor daughter will go. The wife won't leave her luggage. Nor the dresses she bought in Paris. Betty is merely rude. Better make them go. I can't. They won't listen to me. They are huffy about something. Mrs. Lilly? Hmm? Something like that. Anyhow, if you still love your wife and daughter, you'd better get them to the boats without delay. Why? The ship's quite safe. Oh, Isn't it? Yes. For a couple of hours? For a... For a couple of... What do you mean? I mean what I say. You mean she'll sink? So Lanchester told me. God. Betty. Little Betty. What am I to do? I must get them off. Shall I tell them the truth? No. Be quiet and easy with them. Use your influence to make them go, that's all. I've lost my influence. I... They've turned against me. What am I to do? Rule, for God's sake, help me. Bring them here. Perhaps some of us can persuade them.
going to give way to panic so long as the ship's burning the tape. I'm not going to move for anyone. Do what your father tells you, child. Father. Your father. <laughs> Betty, you little fool, he's trying to save your life. Save my life? What do you mean? The ship that you thought so safe will sink in about two hours. And the measure of your father's love is that he hasn't told you. Never know. Two hours ago, I was dancing with her. An hour ago, she was here. Here is the very spot. understand. She, she had a towel coming, sir.
One hour, and this farce will be over. Oh, no. I didn't know. I know now. I've heard everything. I'm sorry, sir, but I did my best to try and persuade her to leave, but... John. John. Unless you go too, I won't go. Oh, dear. The boy, Alice. He's... Alice. Monica's gone. Maybe you can comfort him. Poor boy. Laurie. Laurie. My boy. <laughs> That's the natural comfort now. There's nothing else. Oh, Mrs. Rule. I've been looking for you everywhere. Nearly all the boats have gone. The last ones are just getting ready. Oh, please, come quickly. It's your last chance, you know. Ken, can you take my husband too? Yes, I'll try, but come at once. And you needn't be so particular now, Mr. Rule. The last boats got away with a few men in them. But there are still some women on board, aren't there? You said so yourself. Yes, there are some. When they heard the truth, they refused to leave their own folk. You, you see, darling. <laughs> Mrs. Rule is here. Well, then, Alice, will you go with him? Lanchester will try for the both of you. Oh, I don't want to go. I don't want to go now. Then, for my sake, Lanchester, or for Mrs. Rule's sake, Lara, take the boy alone. I can't go, sir. Oh, you young fool. Don't waste time like this. It's not of you I'm thinking. It, it, it's Monica. Ah, it's right. It's right, Lanchester. I, I'm an old man with my body already broken. Well, he has his life before him. And Monica and... And there's a child coming. We must save as much as we can. I don't want to go now, sir. Monica's safe. That's all that matters. I feel as if... As if I, I've lost touch. Oh, but my dear boy, I don't... forget what she's like. Huh? Something's coming over me. I... 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 Good I... God. Oh, poor Lordy. Poor Nobby. I, oh, he, he's only painted. We gave him too great a struggle between his heart and his will. And he seems so strong and active and manly. And there's nothing unmanly in suffering more than the body can bear. Pointer, can you get him to the No, no, no. Take him. Take him as he is. It's splendid. Why, he's even now more helpless than I am. And on your own showing, Lanchester, he should have the preference in the boat. A pointer, do me the last of many good services by escorting this young gentleman uh, to his carriage, eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God bless you, Laurie. Go to your wife and your child. Uh, Mr. Lancaster, would you give me a hand? Take this, Mrs. Rule, please.
for the joy of the little monikers tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Glory goes to a fine life. Finer than he could ever hope it to be. If this star could never appear, Monica will never forget that once he put her into safety, he stood back himself. She'll tell her children, <laughs> and he'll be a hero for the rest of his life. <laughs> it's damn funny. <laughs> we did a little bit of creation in that moment, Alice. I understand what you mean, dear. Yes, it's right. Pointer's a good fellow. I'm glad I stayed. Well, I'm glad you stayed here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, boy, we'll have a little drink in a minute. Come out here. Shivering to death. Knock a hole. Knock a hole. Oh, Sanfarian. I hope they get all the women off. Oh, well. We do see. What will we go on the day? I feel like ice. We'll have a chance when we go down. We might get out of it. You never know. Not much now, but we're proud. Might as well. All the women Come on, boy. 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 Come
Thank you, sir. Sir, you are no longer under my orders, but I am still under your orders, sir. He... Do you think you could make the last boat? Then the child would be saved. Even if there wasn't room for you. I understand, sir. Goodbye, Manchester. Good luck. our trespasses, as we forgive them the trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the power, and the glory. And the glory.